Hi, this is Frank Schaefer, and I'd like to take a minute to talk about Hillary Clinton and her run for the presidency. But, you know, it's framed by a larger issue, and that is just the fate of women, not just in this culture, but in the world. Do you know back in the Assyrian Empire, long before the invention of Islam, there were already laws that made women wear the veil, cover up, they were the property of men. Once in a while a woman broke through, like Empress Shixi in China in the 19th century. Once in a while a woman was able to fulfill more than the role set for her by patriarchal societies, but it's the exception. We think that it's just the Abrahamic code of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism that kind of, quote, put women in their place. But you know, it goes right back into the history of our human primate race and how we evolved and our tribal societies. You know, we're young in our evolutionary curve right now. And the emancipation of women is part of the progress we have made as we've gone from just being these biological machines procreating and living into a time when conscience and empathy also evolved. Part of that empathy for evolution is that women have found new rights and we're now on the cusp of a great breakthrough nationally in this country where we're going to have a first woman president. She bears the wounds and the scars of the discrimination of thousands of years in patriarchal dominated societies. And you know, sometimes people talk about her being harsh or calculating or untrustworthy and all this other stuff. Think of the beating she's taken over a lifetime of being on the cusp of a movement where women are fighting to just draw breath, just be allowed to draw breath in a world where millions of women are veiled and beaten and raped. And it's considered normal and honor killings are still going on. And in a country where in our own everyday sexism, women like my daughter and my granddaughters look forward to facing all, all these kind of problems. This is the context in which we are witnessing a first serious woman candidate for president. And yes, Hillary Clinton comes with some baggage. His name is Bill. But Hillary Clinton as a woman has to be defended by anybody who cares about the future of not just our civilization, but mankind. And I have absolutely had it with these double standards, this bullshit, this crap thrown at her where if she raises her voice the way I'm raising mine now, as a man getting passionate, she's dismissed as being, quote, shrill. All these crappy put downs by males and oligarchs and chauvinists. So whether you vote for Hillary or not, or whether you're a Bernie Sanders fan or not, and I happen to like Bernie Sanders, cut her some slack. Stop judging on the basis of this double standard where men get one thing and women another. It's a good time to be an American when we can seriously think that we're going to have a first female president. But she stands for more than just this country. As the most powerful country on earth, it sends a message, another milestone in a march for our sisters and our daughters and our mothers and our lovers and our wives and our friends, and I'm speaking as a man here. My granddaughters can look forward to a world where this can happen it gives me a lot of hope. Thank you. My name's Frank Schaefer.